Here comes another DIY shop furniture. As much as I love to design and enjoy building, seeing sawdust everywhere in the garage on every tool and every nook and cranny annoys me. Also, it's unhealthy to breathe in. You can't avoid having dust in your shop, but you can control it by having a good dust collection system and wear masks while working. So, I got this DeWalt vacuum and attached it to the Home Depot Cyclonic Dust Separator on a bucket to improve its efficiency. But it's a pretty big hassle moving this 9 gallon vacuum and the separator every time I want to use the dust collection system. So I built a cart to turn these two into one unit and make it easy to use. To build the cart we only need half a sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood. I've got two pieces here that are 2 feet by 4 feet each. On the first board I'm going to cut the shop vac base shelf for the dust separator, 3 inch edge lipping pieces and the remaining will be used as shelf runner. On the second board, I will cut the two verticals, then a top stretcher, bottom stretcher and the remaining ply will be used as the base for the caster insulation. Now enjoy the cutting shots. As usual, to make it easy for you guys, I have free cut list and a detailed tutorial for this build on my website. You can also modify the dimensions to suit your needs or build it as it is. It would fit most of the brands, link is in the description below. At the end of this video, I will also be showing you all the adapters and fittings I use to connect to various power tools in my shop. Or you can skip the build process and go directly to the below timestamp. Next, I'm going to place the bucket on top of this shelf piece and trace the circle. Start by drilling a hole on one end and cut the circle using a jigsaw. Since the bucket should sit halfway through, cut a slightly larger opening than our marking. I also made chamfer cuts on front edges of the shelf piece. Now go ahead and sand the edges. Before assembling, I'm going to paint the verticals of this cart with the same blue to match with my table saw cart. Next, the assembly. First, join the two verticals with the stretches on top and bottom. Then clamp the vertical with the base, pre-drill and connect with screws. I connected the stretches using pocket holes and attached the base with 2.5 inch wood screws. While you are at it, attach the front lipping to the base with 1.5 inch screws or brand nails. Next, attach the shelf runner on the top stretcher with brad nails. Align the dust topper shelf over it and secure with screws. Add L brackets under the shelf, attaching to the two verticals on either side. Measure, cut and attach the sides with the brad nails. These slipping on front and side edges will help to avoid shop back from rolling out of the cart. Finally, 
Place the cart upside down and add 3 quarter inch thick plywood on 4 corners. Then install casters over it and finish everything with clear sealer. So the shop pack goes in the bottom and the separator goes on top. Both will be connected with these 2.5 inch thick flexi hose and clamp rings. The other outlet from the dust separator connects to the dust collection hose. This hose can be connected to any tool with a proper adapter or to different vacuum attachments. As a later addition, I have also installed a cubby here to store all the adapters I use with this vacuum and a hook here to store the vacuum hose. Since different power tools come with different port sizes, it was really hard to find the right adapter to connect to the vacuum hose port. After multiple store visits and buying several adapters from Amazon, I finally found the right ones that works for me. So to make it easy for you guys, here are all the parts I used for my dust collection system and the adapters used to connect various tools that I own. The same information is also listed in the description below for your reference. If you like our builds, please hit like and consider subscribing to our channel. Be safe and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to visit the nomadstudio.com to check out more details on this project and our previous builds.